Yeah. Hey there! Welcome to, uh, what I don't know what we're gonna call this. Trying a lot of food, clearing out my fridge edition of Reckless Eating, myself and Ziggler here. So, uh, because of YouTube's big old algorithm switch, uh, basically, uh, like, our stuff's just not being really seen all that much anymore, unless it's, like, the big videos. So there's going to be a bit of a shift, uh, in content going forward in the next couple of months. Uh, you're gonna see it slowly start happening, and then you'll notice it probably starting around January pretty, pretty good and aggressively. Like, this guy's cuteness. But uh, they don't like short uh, stuff anymore. I mean, that's just the way it comes down to them, and they're not really promoting any of our stuff. They're not really recommending anything at all, and uh, it's really hard for people to find our content. So what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on bigger content, probably switching it down and, uh, and slowing it down to one video a day that has, you know, like a bigger challenge or a more involved thing, more hard liquor creations, blenders, that kind of thing. Instead of reviews, I think the reviews we do will end up going over onto Patreon for the most part, but... You know, the big stuff I'll still post, new Oreos and things like that, because I just want to. But what we're going to do is we're going to clear out my fridge. A lot of these items are things that I've uh, held on to forever, and I'm like, well, one day we'll do it. Well, let's just do it now. Matt cleans out his fridge item count review with Ziggler. What do you think? Mwah! Let's do it. Full disclaimer. I just, <laughs> I'm in the middle of my four loco, one four loco a month uh, for the entire month of November challenge, so a little slurry. But let's get going. We're gonna start off with the uh, most difficult item to open that uh, I bought. Now I got this at, it was like some random Asian market. I don't even know where the, where the hell it was. It's a little far away, uh, but this is Pokemon Ramune drink. So Ramune is that weird drink that's impossible to open. This is harder to open uh, than trying to get that chastity belt off that super hot bitch in a princess bride. So I'm, I'm awful at this, I, I still, what do you do? What, like, what, what do they expect? What? I don't, oh God, like I don't, it doesn't, ah. I got it. You have to take the little thing off. Then you put it in. It's like trying to have sex with somebody who proportionally is much larger than you. Oh! <laughs> that blew my mind, dude. Whenever you're gonna do a bunch of videos in a row, just drink a four loco through a straw and then it becomes really entertaining or super sad. Vote down below. Let's try Pokemon Remune. It's not bad. It tastes like Sweet Tarts and Sprite had a baby. This is gonna be quick, by the way. Ah, not the worst thing in the world. Three out of five. Probably would never get it again. I farted. Wait, let's see if I can go even bigger. Okay. Next up, uh, this has been my fridge. And you know, this is one of the items that I don't think has been in... No, it's been a long time. About... <laughs> It technically, by the way, a lot of these are going to be as it expired. Technically, this went bad uh, like six months ago, maybe four months ago. Uh, but this is Bragg Boost Caffeine-Free Energy Boost made with Bragg Apple Cider Vinegar and All-Natural Coconut Water. Real talk. Do not ever commit to one Four loco every night for a month. This is only the first night as of filming this. I almost just stabbed myself in the hand. <laughs> I probably would have ended up leaving it in the video. But we just opened that thing up. Let's get it inside of our glass here. Not gonna do, no, we're not doing the whole thing. You're savages if you think we should do the whole thing. All right, brag boost. <laughs> Goodbye. This smells terrible. And uh, by the way, if it's technically expired or, you know, past the due date of selling, we're gonna go, is it expired uh, and not an actual rating? It's, <laughs> whoa. No, that's not exaggerating. That smells terrible. Look at the, like, the milkiness of this thing. I don't think that this was ever intended, fresh or expired, to actually be good. Oh, it smells like grandma's feet. What? All right, I'm gonna take a little sippy sip. This, oh, I think this is gonna be spitting into the sink. Oh. I don't know if that was the date or if that was just the fact that, you know, what it was. Terrible. Is it expired? Yes, it went bad. Next item. So uh, a lot of these, by the way, disclaimer, are going to come from a great service called Munch Pack. Just, I'm not particularly interested in reviewing the whole Munch Packs. What I usually do is I'll grab the most interesting item in the pack, then do a review on that have a brownie review, you'll find it. Don't worry about it, it's not racist. So, uh, a lot of these are gonna be from them. By the way, oh, Munchpack down below, you should probably go ahead and subscribe to them because they're awesome as shit. This is K Kirin uh, Metz 
Ch oh god, Chalk Tan Sand Pink Grapefruit Soda. Pink Grapefruit Flavor Carbonated Soda from Japan. Probably should have done this on a regular review. I think this has been in my fridge. Oh yeah, oh Jesus, that has been in my fridge for a long time. In my fridge since March is when it went bad. So I mean, it might have, it, well not might, that means it was in my fridge even longer than that. In the trash. All right, let's try it out. Don't be a savage, don't be a savage. Let's see if this lives up to the hype. By the way, grapefruit, mm, how many times am I gonna say by the way? Grapefruit, uh, not my thing. I tried to get into it, especially when I was like really on my weight loss journey that I've been on for the last two years. I got, got the little grapefruit cups. No, just no. I mean, it just, it, I don't like grapefruit. Whatever it is, I wish I did. It's, it has a cool name. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I mean, it really does taste like Sprite mixed with grapefruit. What if every one of these items tastes like Sprite? Let's get one more little sip. Is it inspired? No, not, hell no. I mean, it's soda, it's hard for that to be a thing. We'll rate this one as well though. Not bad, three out of five, middle of the road. <laughs> but let's move on to the next item, shall we? Here is another item from my fridge that I definitely felt was super interesting. And to be perfectly fair, out of everything, that is uh, that we reviewed. There were only two items I was like, uh, maybe we should hold off on them and do them for a regular review. The Pokemon Remune, just for the title, and this one, Welch's Sparkling Fruit Punch Plus Energy. This is uh, Welch's that does, like, obviously does, uh, you know, like uh, jelly. <laughs> Jesus, filming this after we chugged that. No, not a good idea. Jelly from Welch's, obviously you know that, but they made an energy drink. I got this at Big Lots quite some time ago, and I've just always held off on doing a review. Look at how much I got it for. You, well, there we go. 75 cents, and also my nose is leaking. That's gonna be a theme of this whole review. So, here's another expired item. Technically, the sell-by date was May 17th of 2019. Not the worst thing in the world, uh, but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta work with the circumstances handed to us, or the circumcisions handed to us. What? Matt, don't do it. Don't do it. Your dick skin makes you immortal, like Hercules and Xena. Let's try it out. Whoa, holy shit, that's good. Wow, that's delicious. That tastes like an Otter Pop melted down and then you just drink it, which is the way you should do Otter Pops because I 100% uh, hate any of those, those frozen popsicles. They are the worst and maybe I'm weird, but as a kid, I did not like them either. Just give me Skittles, inject them in my veins. Let's try one more sip. That's delicious, I really like this. Uh, it just, like I said, Otter Pop melted down. Low five out of five matte faces. That might be the best thing we try the entire video. Let's go. Real talk, this item is, this, I think this is gonna be gross, but hopefully it's not. So I bought this one over at Target. I don't know if they still sell it there, but it's called T Riot. Shout out to Ruby Riot. You're super hot and a great wrestler. I like you a lot. All right, so this is Tea Riot, uh, and it's Cider Kick Energizing Tea and Juice Blend powered by Tea and Botanicals. Let's go. Technically, this one expired, or at least sell-by, is September 21st of uh, 2019. So, not bad, not bad. Just barely didn't make the mark. Oh, you can see what this one already looks like, kind of from the top there. Don't have to pour it into the glass. Let's take a sip. Oh, God. Ooh! Ziggler, thank you so much for eating food yet again when I'm filming a review, you're so loud. All I'm tasting in here is 80% ginger and 20% Marianne. No, I'm sorry, tea. <laughs> but like, all it is is ginger. It just tastes like ginger all the way. If I had to, I could drink this. I'm just, I don't necessarily know. Like, it's probably good for you. But also, what's the sugar content? It's 14 grams of sugar. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Not the worst tasting in the world. If I had to, I could drink it. But that does mean it's a zombie apocalypse because I'm inebriated right now, which is probably why, like, me being drunk and crossfaded probably makes this the most fair reviews possible because I can tell you from being a, at a two out of five Matt Faces status what I'm gonna do. And uh, I, I would not, no, I would not live off of this. Uh, I would give this a high, high, very high one out of five Matt Faces. Uh, but I really like the name and I like the overall branding on it. It looks really good. Next up is uh, a variation of Fanta from Japan. Uh, I don't have the booklet in front of me, uh, but it says on the back for, this is another uh, munch pack item. 
It says from, it's Fanta Z Ataku Double Hakutu Otu. I'm so sorry. I'm the most ignorant person on the entire planet. Bon up, bon test, don't you wanna? Bon up, bon test, don't you wanna? I have no idea in my current state of mind. To be fair, if I was sober, I would have no idea either of what flavor this is. Let's get a smell. It smells delicious. Oh my god. I don't even know what that smells like. It smells like a super citrusy soda. Let's try it out. Ooh, that's good. It does have a hint of UPS cardboard box, but it's not the worst thing on the entire planet. Not bad at all. I'm gonna give this one a solid four out of five matte faces. Tastes like a good like mix of like good grapefruit and citrus. That's probably not what it is because I'm a terrible reviewer, but here's a question for you guys, by the way. I love marijuana, okay? You guys know that already for the last two years ever since California made it legal, but I've thought about this. So we have indigo, which may basically makes you sleepy, relaxed. Sativa, that makes you, it's the party drug, makes you, you know, super happy, having a good time, dancing, you know, oops, 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 oops. somebody take that and gif it. You'll enjoy that later when you masturbate. And then you got like hybrid, the mixture. If they ever discovered a third strain, so not a hybrid, but like you have the downer and the upper, what would the third strain be? There's some weird island on Guatemala Luku that it's a place, look at it, don't be ignorant. And what, what would the effects be? I think it would be pure depression and it would be an M. Night Shyamalan style happening where you just go, you, and you go, well, that's the end of me. What? Next up, I have no idea where I got this. Why was I holding on with the two hands? What am I, not a man? Uh, I don't know where I got this. I have no idea, but this is, uh, oh God, Numi Organic Tea Turmeric Sun. And there's one reason why I got this. I, I do remember why I bought it. I don't remember where or like the means of a purchase, but I do remember I bought it because I wanted to sing Turmeric Sun, won't you come and wash away the rain. Organic uh, turmeric and r ruby bose uh, <laughs> herbal tea blend with a hint of cinnamon, caffeine free. Let's go. Heh, hell yeah. This doesn't sound like anything. I would ever like under any circumstance. Uh, but hey, we're here, we're, we're good to go. And also, this has not expired. This is good all the way into June of 2020. So we're good. There we go, one of the few items in my fridge that we're trying to clear out that uh, wasn't immediately bad news. All right, new me organic tea, turmeric sun. <laughs> turmeric, turmeric? I hope it's turmeric, because if it's turmeric, you have gotta go get some chemo. Let's try it out. Oh, blah, blah, blah. When I was a kid, my mom would take me to a little place called Downtown Glendora, because I grew up in Glendora, California. And there was one shop that had a bunch of like, you know, it's like old, I would call it, and don't be offended, mom, she doesn't watch Mary, don't worry about it. Old women products that all smelled like how this tastes. No good. No good at all. It kind of tastes exactly how you think this picture would taste. Like, look at that. It tastes exactly like that. Uh, I don't like this at all. I, you know what though? I would at least survive off of it. I could do this in a zombie apocalypse. I don't think I could do this in an inebriated state, so I'm gonna give it a one out of five mad faces. I'm so sorry. I hope your company's successful. Next up, so I'm probably a dick about this, and uh, you know, maybe I posted the video. I don't remember. We'll see. But I, maybe we'll just do it again because I'm a big fan of this dude in general. He seems like the nicest person in the world. Uh, a YouTuber who does Nerf reviews, like Nerf guns and stuff, as well as just, you know, everyday being cool as fuck life reviews. This was sent by uh, my good buddy who has a YouTube channel called I Am Bobo Lolo, and I think I always say it wrong, but that's okay. Link down below in the description. Give him a subscribe, please. Thumbs up the video, give him a subscribe. Let's do everybody a big old favor. This is Be Bad energy drink uh and this is a sparkling energy drink it doesn't say anything else except for that it's powered by honey made with royal jelly and pro propolis i think we like we reviewed a bunch of stuff he sent on this care package one was like a one was like a salsa and stuff uh but uh, he sends this stuff every once in a while really nice guy i can't stress it enough go give him support man like our smaller youtubers need help like i'm we're we're there it's people go matt you have six hundred and seventy thousand subscribers uh, really? Because our view count doesn't uh, associate with that logic because the YouTube algorithm is the worst. So give you guys support. 
all the guys. I really want to know if you guys like this style of video after I've chugged the four loco through a straw. Uh, or if you'd prefer me to be sober. You know what? Different strokes for different folks. Let's smell this thing. Ooh, that does smell terrible. That does not smell good. That smells like the old woman that lived next door to me growing up, Annie. Rest in peace. You were really, really nice and you let me use your pool a lot. But it smells just like when I would have to go into her house. My mom would get a call from her and she'd be like, I need my, you know, air condition changed out. I don't know what that means. But I would go in there and I'd change her filter. Her whole house smelled like an ancient time. Let's go. It tastes a lot better than it smells, like much better than it smells, but very similar, which is very, I don't understand how it is, but it definitely tastes like what I imagine having sex with my uh, old neighbor Annie would be like. Not the worst thing in the world, not super great. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of whatever. I give it a three out of five oh, match faces. But thank you uh, to I am Bobo Lolo for sending that. Make sure you give him a subscribe. Let's move on. Next up is an item that I've had in my fridge since December 21st of 2018. Uh, and I remember I got this at Cost Plus World Market. And it's a cool item. Like every time that we've done a show here at my apartment, I've opened the fridge and been like, you know, we gotta do you, 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 you. This was always the last thing we were gonna do. And we just never did it, cause it's got a cool gimmick. This is, oh, I can't even say this name. Uh, Ch Cheshire's Vanishing Cream Soda. So this, right, this is an Alice in Wonderland reference, right? It's a stupid cat, right? It's gotta be the cat. Is this a twist off? <gasps> nope, oh, that hurt my hand a little bit. What kind of soda this is gonna be, I have no idea. Oh, there's some rust at the top of the cap. Like, right where the cap was, there's rust. I shouldn't do it. It's bad news. I'm gonna spit it out. Let's at least try it. Mm. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, tastes like sweet tarts and rust. That's why I spit it out. I'm gonna give this one a three out of five mad faces. Logan. Next up, we have a uh, defunct coffee energy drink from 7-Eleven, which I don't know if they still sell this thing or not. Um, the best buy date on this was early on in 2019. So we're not quite, uh, we're, I, I, I don't think this is gonna be good. Uh, Mocha Coffee Energy Drink, 7-Eleven brand. I'll give credit to 7-Eleven brand. Some of their stuff is okay. It's like some of it is decent enough, uh, but I don't know if I should be trying this. This is definitely gonna be, is it expired? Right here? I don't think this is the color I thought it was. Oh, oh, there's floaties. I think we got another spitter outer. Here's a problem. As I was pouring that down the drain, uh, chunks were coming out. I put that in my mouth. Yeah, is it expired? 100%, this is expired. Why did you Why did you put that in your mouth, Matt? And next up, another munch pack item. Uh, this one is Crush Cream Soda. I don't have like a super definitive loyalty to Crush, uh, but I did like their orange soda very ancient. I, like, I never really did too much other than the orange one. Technically this went bad, uh, but it's very close. It's, yeah, it's, it's not gonna matter. It's soda, even if it's cream soda, I still think this will be fine. I like that 7-Eleven hybrid. Look at that color, dude. It looks like from a Fallout game. All right, what is crushed cream soda gonna taste like? Look at that. That looks, that looks like it's gonna give you cancer. Let's try it out. Also kind of tasted, uh, tastes like a melted down Otter Pop. It's not bad, not terrible. It's not as good as the previous one that tasted like that, uh, but it's close. It's not bad overall. I would probably drink that if I had no choice. I'd give it a low three out of five. It's fine enough. Next up, I believe, is another Munch Pack item. Uh, this one is Shizuoka Cola. And I don't know, like, I don't know what this entails. By the way, I've never seen a cola that looks like LA water, because that looks really close to LA water. Uh, but you know what? Appearances can be deceiving, because I look like I would be really good in bed. But ladies, I will disappoint you faster than any man on the planet. All right. Wow, this is, how is this a cola? This has nothing in relation to cola, at least in terms of appearance. This just looks like green sewage water. Or again, how bad I am in bed. Let's try it out. I know exactly what this tastes like. The Japanese energy drinks that we bought back in the day that are exclusive to like the LA area or like 99 Ranch Market, Tastes like ginseng, ginger, and disappointment in bed. 
Not the worst thing on the planet. Not particularly great. Inebriated, it's okay. Give it a two out of five. All right, another Munch Pack item. The last one's Munch Pack also. I feel so bad. They've been sending us these forever, but like, again, gotta be the most interesting item to have its own solo thing. But check out Munch Pack. Dude, legitimately, they send you a lot of awesome stuff from all around the world. All around the world, Nick squashes pussy. Finest herbal extracts, Cocta Original. I have no idea what that means. It says on the little cheat sheet, Cocta Original Soda Cola with herbal extracts and fruity flavors. I can't even get that open until I did get it open. All right, what, I'm, I'm like finally, finally I'm gonna understand what the other side sees. What does Cocta taste like in my mouth? Because everybody in the comments knows that I love a little bit of sausage with my breakfast burrito. Let's try it. It kind of tastes like a sweet tart that's going through a divorce. Like it's still there and it still has the base ingredients, but it's definitely a little bit sour and by God, it does not want to give up the car. No, not feeling it. I don't really like this at all. This definitely tastes like a soda you would get from a third world country, which maybe that makes me sound like an asshole, but it's just lacking a lot of the ingredients that makes it good, AKA food review. I'm gonna get this a two out of five. Don't really enjoy it. One more item to go. Let's finish this video off. And the last item from Matt cleans out his fridge before we do the next video, the sequel that will be equally as disappointing as this one. Matt cleans out his cabinets is again from Munch Pack. Big shout out to them. Check them out. Link down below in the description. This is Tur Termi di Codo Lemon Soda. Uh, made using lemons only from Italy. Mixed with the light fizz of traditional tonic water, this drink brings just enough sweetness to leave you wanting more. Well, I hope so. I like the can. The can's pretty cool. And the fact that it's the final thing that I have to review while I'm this inebriated, I bet this is gonna be okay. I don't like lemon stuff much at all, which sounds like somebody who can't speak the English, but I bet this is gonna be at least okay. I can already smell it. I didn't even smell it yet. Like it's over here, not over here. And my nostril picked it up. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that smells more like squirt than Sprite. And squirt's still pretty good though, so I might be okay with this. Let's try it. Oh! <laughs> That tastes like you bit into something you should not have put your teeth into. Wow, that is, that's no good. That, it's, well, it's, uh, it's kind of okay though. It's definitely a mix. You, you should not do food reviews after you chug the loco. The whole month? What chance do I have? Patreon.com slash reckless eating. I don't know if you even know if that's what it is, but you should check out Patreon. That is like biting into a lemon, straight up, with like a lot of sugar to counteract the face I'm doing, it would be worse if I didn't have the sugar. It's not the worst thing in the world. I'm gonna rate the weird lemon drink from Italy. Three out of five? I could probably sip on this thing, but it's not It's not all that great either. But hey, what are your thoughts on it though? And that by it, I mean my penis. I need to know like, what exactly do you think the rating on my penis would be? Let me know down below. And thank you guys for watching while I cleared out my fridge. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna focus fire, not only the channel, but my penis. So. I hope you had a good time. We'll see you soon. Ta-da.